So I mentioned the other day that I've only heard of two times that a house has actually been taken um, by a bank for people who are utilizing lines of credit to pay off debt and to be much more streamlined. The more recent example is a banker who has worked now with three different banks specializing in lines of credit for houses. He has been doing this now for right around 10 years. And when I asked him in 10 years time, how many problems have you seen? Said, I follow all of our clients. Even across the three banks, I still have ways to look and see that everything is okay. And in my 10 years of doing this, one, one house has been an issue. Now you go back to 2009 and 2010. I think there was a problem with more than one house. And going back to that time, there was a white paper that was published around 2012, 2013. I remember seeing it. I don't have my hands on it anymore, unfortunately. But they looked at 2,000 homes that had a home equity line of credit instead of a traditional first position mortgage. And from 2000, roughly seven through 2011, the number of houses that went late foreclosure and were seized by the bank on 2,000 homes was one. Why? It all has to do with access to the equity that when you make that payment every single month, the excess payments that you make, the excess money that you're putting in, you still have access to it. And this is what my whole philosophy is about. Pay down the debt, but still have access to the cash that you just used to pay down the debt. And so here's what I mean. When I was at the beginning of my journey and understanding this whole concept, the I'll call it the OG in the whole space, I found the vice president's phone number based out of California. She was really upset I was living in Texas. I still do. She said, please move to any other state outside of Texas, outside of New York, any other state we can help you. And I want you to understand why I will never use a traditional mortgage again. I said, please. We have a client that has a pool cleaning business in Southern California was doing fantastically well, as you could imagine. And every month he had a profit and every month he was working this like clockwork in terms of paying more down against the mortgage than the, than the minimum payment that he needed to make. Why? Because every dollar he put in above and beyond, he can get back out. And then 2008 happened and his business went to zero. And so what did he do? He gathered up his family and said, look, this is going to be really, really lean times. We have to cut our spending way, way back. And so all of that excess money that he was putting into his house, they were going backwards. But they built up so much of a buffer that he could pull the money out and pay the expenses, bare minimum that he needed to, plus the interest that was accruing backwards until his business could pick back up again and then he could start going forwards again. And she's like, that's the reason why I, I will never do a traditional mortgage again because you have that monthly payment and the next month, that monthly payment does not change. And so for that business owner, they would have been a year plus behind and then try to make up all the payments and they would have been kicked out of their house. Instead, they were able to stay in their house and have the result exactly as I share with my clients. Sometimes things are good. And if it's good, let's push the debt down. Let's build up our buffer. 
and sometimes things are lean. Like when I sold my practice, I had no income coming in, but my house payment was down to $24.19. How many $24 payments can you make that you don't have to worry about getting kicked out of your house? A hell of a lot. And so that's why the next month it was $32 for my house payment. And the month after that, it was $65. Why? Because I was taking equity out of the house to live. I didn't have any other income. I was still trying to figure out what the hell to do with my life. Now, thankfully, I do this and I love it. I love helping people see the results that are possible for them. And if you want to see the results that are possible for you, type the word results in the comments below. But this is why I believe so wholeheartedly in this philosophy. You understand your income needs to be greater than your expenses. And that surplus, instead of just saying in a checking account or savings account, push the balance of the debt down. You push the debt down, you're paying less interest. You are saving on interest more than you can earn in a savings account. But in either account, you have access to the cash. And I know I just stressed the first position that we don't have a traditional mortgage anymore and it's now just all of a line of credit. Because of the changes in interest rates, I don't believe that that is the right thing for every individual anymore. Sometimes we need to keep that mortgage in first position, but there's ways of lowering that fixed debt payment and then having access to the equity behind that or in second position or junior. And the last thing I will share is you can find a white paper. Roughly, I think it was 2012 it was published by one of the Federal Reserve Banks in terms of why were people paying and keeping current their lines of credit while not paying their primary mortgage back in 2008, 2009? It was because of the access to cash. That's the basic summary of it all. I don't have enough income coming in to make the large primary house payment. But I'm going to keep my life preserver available, which was the line of credit, which was the equity at the time before banks started shrinking that too. But they kept that afloat for as long as they possibly could, because if they didn't have that, then there was no cash available. And then they were definitely screwed. So I hope I really conveyed in terms of how important this concept is and how how vital it can be because we just don't know what the future holds. And to have that flexibility to have that access to equity, to have the availability of cash matters more than anything for people to sleep well at night. Take care.